This call may be monitored or recorded for quality assurance purposes. Absolutely. And there's not a perfect company. I mean, we make mistakes, you know, but there's only one perfect person that's ever walked this world. And, um, you know, we know it's an imperfect business, an imperfect world. Um, but, you know, we try our best not to, if, if it does happen, everybody keeps their cool and we'll just work it out and work through it. You know, and as long as we communicate with one another, everything's going to be fine. But Welcome back drivers to the recruiter call channel. And in this MTC, we're going to be looking at E word S E W A R motor freight out of C word, Nebraska. Probably I might be wrong on that, but anyway, Anyway, check it out. They have 65% dropping hook, 95% no trust freight, no New York City, no Canada, layover and detention pay, a generous bonus program, and many, many more. So uh, I had a I have one of the guys that I came across. Uh, they used to drive for your company. Um, okay. I, I'm not sure what happened, but let's just say the conversation between me and him about the company. Let's just say he didn't put it in a positive light. But you know, I I like to you know find out things for myself, so I went and you know checked out some of the uh, reviews and stuff like that. And uh, some of them are favorable. So uh, I would like to know a little bit more about what you guys got to offer, if if I may. Sure. All right. Well, it, you know, the, the, the thing is, you know, there's two sides to every story, like, you know, and like anything that is posted, you know, there, it's 10 times more likely that people are going to put something up there that they didn't like rather than putting something up that there's it's good. Right. That's what, um, that's what everything when it comes to social media. Absolutely. And, and there's not a perfect company. I mean, we make mistakes, you know, but uh, there's only one perfect person that's ever walked this world. And, um, you know, we know it's an imperfect business, an imperfect world. Um, but, you know, we try our best not to, if, if it does happen, Everybody keeps their cool and we'll just work it out and work through it, you know, and as long as we communicate with one another, everything's going to be fine. But where's home for you, man? Well, you know, you, you know, trucking is imperfect anyway. I mean, you know, any, any, and every, any and everything always, always happens when it comes to trucking. So we, we can make the best plans out there, but we could get held up in the shipper. We could get held up in traffic, weather, yeah. you know, any, anything stop and, us from actually doing what we as drivers want to do. And we have a, you know, and we have an epiphany. Benefit. We have an epiphany of brain, uh, of blaming the trucking company for that particular problem. So I, I understand. Well, well, and, you know, I was an owner operator for North American Van Lines uh, for a long time. And, I, you know, I, I basically grew up in this business. I at one time had, I one time had 53 trucks on with North American um, and then the housing market went to hell and I sold the company. But North is a company that really understands what the drivers are looking for. They treat all of the, it's, every driver is treated with respect. The drivers get back what they put in. And if you're the kind of person that picks up, it delivers on time, you're kind to our customers, and you communicate well, shit, man, the sky's the limit for you guys. I mean, those those guys who, the guys who feel the, the, per, the, the driver's mold, who really understand their jobs, those guys are constantly getting 28 to 3,000 miles a week, and they're doing it driving daytime hours. And... And we're driving, we're 90%, 94%, no touch, and about 70% drop and hook. And it's a, it's a easy, it's not an easy job, but it's a, you're treated with respect. You're never asked to do something that we're not willing to do ourselves. Um, like, he, like the safety manager, he drove for this company. I drove for North American. So 
you know, we know we know you guys. I mean, things have changed for equipment, rules, and regulation, but life on the road will never change. And we understand, you know, most companies and recruiters that you talk to understand what your job is from eight to five. I'm the guy, and my boss is the guy who understands what what you guys have to do between five and eight. Right, right. All right. So, how much uh, how much experience and, how how much experience do you guys require? We'd like to have two years. Okay, okay, okay. Awesome. Uh, of course, you guys are out of uh, Nebraska. I I looked at the the website and seen y'all you guys running lanes. So you guys run majority of the Midwest and a little bit in the South, but do you guys run Canada as well? No, we don't. Uh -uh. All right. What about basically run? Oh, go ahead. ahead. No, no, no. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, we basically run Nebraska to to Houston and out. Then we run east through Ohio. We don't do anything east of Pittsburgh. No, no New York. No Northeast. And we do Atlanta and Scottsboro, Alabama, and then all those points in between. Awesome, they're awesome. Good, they're good, good market. Yeah, they're good markets. Very good because I'm out. I'm out of Ohio, so getting me home on on a on a regional is 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 good for me with this company, right? Well, I can gu- I can guarantee you, we get you home as often as ten days to two weeks. If we can get you on the home on the weekends, we will. We're just not promising anything outside of a, a thousand, anything outside of 500 mile radius of our terminal, because we just don't know what the economy is going to be like. Because the fourth quarter has been slow uh, in certain, because the Christmas rush is over. Some companies are picking up. Some are slowing down. We got enough for we can get anybody home anywhere in the country at least two days every two weeks, but we'll get you home more than that. But we promise you, if you're in a situation where you need to get home for medical reasons or something like that, we'll get we'll get you home if we have to deadhead you home. Copy that. Okay. Uh, pre-employment drug screening, hair follicles, or urine, or both. No, this way. All right. Awesome. Uh. Now, of course, on the website, as well as, you know, trucking in general, uh, a lot of you guys tend to tell us that the pay is competitive, you know, keyword competitive. So sure. what, what is what is you guys mileage pay uh, mileage pay for a driver that's like me been driving for seven years? What would I come in at? Seven years. If I can verify, if I can verify seven years, you'll be at either fifty-eight or fifty-nine. Okay, awesome, awesome. All right, um, <clears throat> and, and that's for that, and that's for the first ninety days. You're eligible for a penny after ninety days, but you're also eligible for up to two cents a mile each and every month. One through safety, one through operations. And it's basically, like I said, pick up, deliver on time, be, be friendly and do it legally and communicate well. And then we, you know, we also pay for like for idle time, layover, detention fee. We give bonuses for guys who get good DOT inspections. So there's a shitload of ways other than miles to make money, man. Gotcha. Gotcha. Now you guys is up in Nebraska. So uh, if I'm not mistaken, Nebraska is considered a chain state, right? It doesn't make you know. It, it, you're you're gonna have change on the truck because it's demanded. But we don't. We do not let our drivers put chains on the tires and the axles. If it's that bad, you ain't going anywhere. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay. Uh, what are equi- What are the equipment and what are they governing that? They're Volvos, Volvos, and. Peter Viltz, they're governed at uh, the cruise control at 68 into the pedal 65. Awesome, awesome. Okay. Uh, they all have a- Oh, go ahead, they, go ahead. They all have APUs. They all have APUs. Some of them have double bunks. They're just, they're good, safe equipment. They're, they're, you know, they're three or four years old, but 
we actually have had better luck with the older equipment because with all the new equipment, with all the newfangled bullshit, I tell you what, we're having more problems with that than we are some of our older trucks. <laughs> I hear you. Okay. That's what's up. Uh, driver cams? But um, If you got a good PSP and no accidents or incidents, you won't have a camera because we went over just about everything so i'm pretty much caught up but i was going to ask you what was your pet and rider policy and how young can i bring my rider well if it's if it's if it's your wife is it a member of your family yes sir grandkids okay and as long as that person okay it got to be eight years old and as long as they can get in and out of the truck unassisted and have a and have it cleared through safety. You can have your you can have a, a kid with you. Okay, okay, cool. Pets. Um, under under fifty pounds, and then there's some. I mean, you got to have them in a crate when you're the shippers. Uh, you got to you know, and, and just normal routine animal care. You know, got to have them vaccinated and. If you got to have them on the leash as you're walking and things like that, and I can get you a copy of the pet policy, so you know. Awesome, awesome. Uh, do now. I know I asked you about you know the 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 pre-employment drug screening, but do you guys accept SAP drivers? We do not. We do not accept SAP drivers. I'm sorry. That's that's not my point of view. That's ownership. So. It, it, does that apply to you? Oh no, 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 no! I'm just asking. I'm just asking okay. general because I'm I'm in a Facebook group and you know I share information that I get. Um, what about a sign on? What yeah. about what about a sign on bonus? Anything? No, we 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 think that's kind of a bogus. Um, we don't we don't think most drivers ever get their bonuses anyway because there's always some there's always some limiting you know there's always the first the first time you you're late for a shipment there goes your bonus or anything like that so what we do is we pay all your orientation expenses to get here we put you in a marriott and our our, our sign on bonus is like 600 bucks okay awesome awesome well, Jack, uh, Jack, right? I mean, she did say your name was Jack, right? Yeah. Oh, okay, Jack, man. Thank That's you. Correct. Thank you very much, man. I I appreciate you know you uh, going through the through the signals <laughs> with me and everything, man. Thank you very much. Uh, as a matter of fact, a C word truck just passed me on uh, I eighty heading uh, heading east. The information that you gave me, I you know I always share it and uh and um and yeah you know hopefully you know somebody that might be interested definitely will come on and uh and i'll just tell them let well, them know that i let them know that i told them that's all you've been in the business long enough to realize that at the end of the year i mean your your company either has to be your company is either part of the problem or it help, it's to help you solve the problems and you and you know you've been in the business long enough that at the end of the year, two three thousand dollars extra isn't worth if they put you through a bunch of bullshit and treat you like crap. Jack, you 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 is about the most honest uh, recruiter that I talked to thus far, man. So thank you for your honesty. I really do appreciate Amen. it. I, I've spent my life in the business. I understand what you guys got to do. I'll never lie to you. And I'm just going to tell you straight out, man, this is a good place to work. If I could drive again, Seward would be where I, Seward would be where I'd be. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right, man. Thank you very much. And again, like I said, I would definitely share this with my uh, network of drivers and hopefully, uh, hopefully going into the new year, every, everybody will be happy where they at, man. Uh, Jack, uh, Jack, thank you very Happy much. I really Happy do appreciate it. Happy New Year. Happy New Year to you too, sir. <laughs> there you have it, fellas. So, stu, C word. C, C, if I'm pronouncing that right, C word, 
S E W A R D out of Seward, Nebraska. This is a family-owned trucking company that's been around for a good while. Jack, the recruiter, awesome. Great conversation, great information. They're looking for two years. They're looking for drivers that got two years of experience. They'll start you off at 50 cent plus. Uh, you'll get a cent after 90 days, and you'll get two cents dust after that. Seawards, is this a company that you can get with? They are a small they are a small company. They are a company that's offering 65% drop and hook, 95% no touch freight. They offer no New York City and no Canada's. They offer layovers and detention pay, generous bonus programs, and many, many, many more. Unfortunately, new drivers that's coming into the industry, you will need about two years of experience to drive with this company. And for drivers that's part of the SAP program, unfortunately, they don't have nothing for you. I am so sorry about that. Uh, again, you know, it's going to be pretty hard for you guys to, you know, get with a reputable company because of your you know because of your situation with the sap but there are companies out there continue to follow the recruiter call channel we will get all companies that does accept sap drivers we will definitely let you know all right guys is there any other companies out here going into the new year because we bringing it to you fast and hard let us know in the comments below if you drove for Stewart let us know your experience with them come on in the comments below and let us know if the company do you good or do you not good let us know all right thank you for listening to this episode of the mtc on the recruiter call channel thank you very much who's next, 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 next.